Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing like a full face, chatty, get ready with me sort of, but like a full face of nothing new. But I don't know why, since October, aside from the boxy charms that I was still receiving for the rest of the year, I didn't buy anything. Felt really proud of it and I bought a lot of new makeup recently. It's okay. I just, I wanna go through the rest of the collection that I already have and appreciate what I have a little bit more before I start using all my new stuff. It also hasn't come in yet. Um, I'm just wanted to like sit down, chit chat, talk about life and makeup and whatever else and do some makeup. So I apologize if the lighting sucks. I also apologize if you can see my mirror here. I might not even use it. I might just use an eyeshadow palette. But if any of you are wondering, I am wearing Fairy Floss by ColourPop on my lips right now. I'm pretty much always wearing lip gloss. Also, moving closer makes me look so oily. I don't look like that in person, and I'm also not nearly this yellow. I think this is the most realistic lighting. I fixed it a little bit, and I made the background darker. And I think this is a little bit more true. So I actually turned off the light that's right up there and I think this is the best lighting like looking at myself in the camera looking at myself in the mirror that's like right behind the camera looks pretty good all right too long rambling let's get into the video first I'm gonna go in with this little sample I have of the MAC strobe cream um I'm not wearing anything on my face right now just my moisturizer from this morning I just naturally look Oh, that was a lot. I feel like that's going to be too much. I guess we'll find out. I'm going to take off my glasses, but not yet because I can't see without them. My face looks really red now, but I do look very dewy. I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick in, what is this? Fair 27 Neutral. I haven't used it in forever and I was doing a declutter and I was like, should I keep it? Should I get rid of it? Let's keep it, cause it's one of the only foundations that I still have. So we kept her, but that means that I actually need to use her and not just be like, hey, we kept her just in case. I'm just going to go in and like blend it in, obviously. It seems a little stiff compared to last time I used it. Like I feel like it's not blending in as well as it used to like i feel like it's definitely taking more effort it's bothering me i have a smaller version of that brush it's literally the same brush but smaller and i'm gonna go in with that instead because i feel like that is gonna work better because i can put more like direct pressure on where i want to put it you know what I mean? I remember last time I used this, or like all of the times that I've used this in the past, I would always forget like this part of my face and like the closer to my ears I got, the less attention I paid to it. And it was always really streaky. I'm not even like blending, I'm just like painting it in at this point. I was really hoping that because it was a stick, it wouldn't look dry. Like not that it will look dewy, but it's not supposed to be matte. And it looks pretty dry. I don't know if you can tell like on camera, but it looks pretty dry, even though I'm wearing a bunch of glowy stuff. I'm gonna build it up. 
not really under my eyes, but just like by my nose, where I get a lot of redness. And on my nose. And I don't think I want to put it anywhere else more. Like, I don't want to put more anywhere else because I don't want it to look too cakey. I've done like a really thin layer and it's already beginning to look pretty cakey. Maybe next time I'll mix it in with a moisturizer that I have. But I'm just... I don't know. Maybe I should get rid of this. I mean, it doesn't look bad from like a distance, but looking up close, I can see a lot of like cakiness right here. I mean, it's where I have like more acne right now, but... Other than that, I don't think it looks bad. I don't think it looks bad, it just looks makeup -y. I'm gonna go in with Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral. Haven't used this in a really long time. It used to be my ride or die concealer. And I remember it was like unbelievably intense. Like full coverage. I have a lot of dark circles, especially lately. So we're gonna see how that works. I didn't want my beauty blender, which I was going to, but I don't feel like going and doing it. So I'm going to use the same brush because I'm lazy. And I'm going to start by like stippling it and then like blending it in, I guess. I don't really know what I'm doing tonight. I like how everything looks. I'm getting a little bit of creasing, but that always happens because I have creasy ass eyes. But I like this concealer. I don't remember why I stopped using it. I'm going to go to my Cover FX Studio. Nope. What is this? My Cover FX Perfector Face Palette in Light Medium. And I'm going into the finishing powder in the middle. Sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. I'm bad at this. Oh, this is a Moda brush. It doesn't say what brush. It's just a Moda brush. And I'm gonna gently pat this in to my face. I really, really love it. I really love it. I know I said I wanted to look dewy. But this powder makes you look dewy while completely setting your face because it has oh sorry it has these tiny little sparkles in it you can't even see it has these very tiny sparkles in it and I freaking love it okay I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush this is Alexi 512 small contouring brush and I'm gonna use this around like the sides of my nose because they're really really just gross and then under my eyes and on my lids because the brush that I was using I normally use for like blush and I don't normally do my whole face like this and um it does not fit I don't know if I get my chin I'm happy with the powder. I think I look, sorry, I think I look nice and like not dewy, but like not matte. For like 10 seconds, I'm going to put my glasses back on so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to go into my Wet n Wild Photo Focus. No, I'm not. My Wet n Wild Dolce de Leche powder, um, contour powder. I'm really tired and I haven't actually filmed a makeup video in forever. Also, I feel like I'm being really tutorial-y and not like chatty, like I said I was going to be. I'm just contouring slash 
bronzing because it's all the same to me. How are you guys like lives doing? I know everything kind of sucks right now, but how is it? How is life? This looks really intense on camera, I feel like, but in real life it doesn't look like that much. Um, today was my last exam. It's my only exam, really. My bio exam. I did really well, and I'm very happy with it. Sorry if you can hear people walking. My mom is loud. Today, I'm going for a very chiseled look, apparently. We want to have no face. We just, we don't even want to have, like, a face at this point. This month is going to be the month, or, like, the summer, even, of freaking videos on my channel. I have this one going up. I have a haul coming, I have a makeup collection video coming, I have two Project Pan videos coming, and a full face of new makeup um, to kind of like counteract, contradict, counteract. Two words, not one. What am I doing? Did I contour my nose or did I just make it look dirty? No one knows. I just totally forgot what I was saying for a second. I'm going to go in with my Ciate satay blush in dusk this is the marbled light blush i i'm gonna go in with the same blush the same brush that i used for powder that looks like a lot no not really On camera, it looks really bad. Like, I just look really bad on camera today. So I turn that light back on. I don't think I look any less yellow, and I don't know if I can freaking fix it. Oh. I guess that looks a little bit better. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know, but I'm, like, really happy with how my face looks right now. So, we're gonna go into the eyes. Fun fact, bought the Dream Street ColourPop palette months ago. Like, months and months ago. Like, almost a year ago. I've never used it. That and the Yes Please, oopsies, <laughs> and the Yes Please palette. But, this one is, like, a little bit more neutral. And that's what I'm feeling like today. I almost just put my whole thumb in an eyeshadow. I'm gonna go into the shade... Shooting star. I just hit my camera. Smooth. Shooting star. It's gonna go all... Oh, she is intense. I used some eyeshadow yesterday that was like really subtle. Not intense at all. I spent like 20 minutes just building up the crease. This is gonna be the easiest eye look. You can already tell. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have gone in with that brush. One moment. I'm gonna go in with this one from Max Studio. It's clean and I'm just gonna try to like blend out whatever I just did because that brush was too big for my little eye. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I do every time. Put a little bit on the outer corner and like make that the shape and make my eyes look, or I don't know, shorter. Is that what that does? I don't know what it does, but I do it every time. I'm so sorry if you can't see me or what I'm doing. I'm not good at this and I can't see. I'm gonna mix Potion and Elfish. I couldn't see it, so I had to check. And I'm going to use that to deepen the crease a little bit. I really don't know what else to talk about. 
I was gonna be chatty. I was so chatty earlier, and now I'm like, hmm, words. I returned bottles and cans today, and that was exciting. I got to leave the house. I'm just gonna mix those three shades, like, very gently and use that on my lower lash line. This is getting a little bit smokier and like more blown out than I was expecting, but I'm not mad. I'm gonna go in with Kaleidoscope. It's this really pretty like bluey, greeny, silver almost. I don't know, I'm just gonna put that on my lid. I like this eyeshadow, but I'm gonna wet it. I'm gonna go with my ColourPop All Star Setting Spray, and it's on my finger. I'm just gonna spray it like on my finger. I missed twice, but that's okay. <laughs> I missed. I'm terrible at puns. And now I'm gonna go in with it. And I just like to do that with my eyeshadows pretty much all the time and then I like to go with a dry finger and tap it on top what do you think yes I think it helps make it um like a little dewier but also a little bit more metallic because you're going in with it wet oh I forgot to spray it Stupid. I'm gonna go back into that elfish shade, the really dark brown, and I'm gonna use it to just ever so slightly like close off the corners of my eyes a little bit better and deepen up the crease even more. I normally like to do my lid shade last, but it was just not looking, like, finished to me. And I think that's because I just really like a nice, dark, smoky outer corner for my eye shape. I'm also just adding it to the outer corners because... I feel like I'm going to go into the shade Moony, and I'm going to use that to highlight the inner corner. I think I kind of blended away Kaleidoscope when I added more of that brown, so I'm just going to tap this over just like the most outer portion before the brown. Because I think the brush was a little bit too big and blended some of it away. This would have been a really cute halo eye, but I don't like how halo eyes look on my eye shape. So I'm going to go put on my brows and mascara, and then I'll be back. For my brows, I went in with the LA Colors Browy Wowy Brow Pencil. It reminds me of a Wet n Wild one that I used a while ago. I don't remember what it was called, but it's like a thicker triangular shape. Ooh, sorry, that was really close. I don't even know if it's focused like that for my winged liner that I actually ended up deciding to go with I went with my wet n wild mega liner and mascara is my essence volume stylist 18 hour one it's in the pink and all I really have left to do is highlight so I'm gonna go with my physician's formula butter highlight in the shade pearl if I can get it open and it's the most beautiful shimmery I just love it I'm gonna kind of layer it because I'm feeling glowy I don't really feel like going in with any lipstick, so I'm just going to put on more of that Fairy Floss. Actually, 
talking about losing my lipstick. I'm gonna go with a tiny bit of the Physician Formula Muru Muru Butter Lipstick in Behos. Just like a little bit, not too much. Cause it's like really coral. And I don't want like a lot. I, I kind of think it looks cute though. Yeah, nay, yes, no, I don't know. I am going to go in with more lip gloss though because I love this lip gloss right now. And it's going to tone down the lipstick a little bit. In some of my videos with like my liquid lipsticks, I overlined my top lip so much. I'm exposing myself. I'm white and I have no lips. So that is the look. I actually might go in more blush. I feel like you can't really see it in person at least. Maybe you can on camera. In person, I cannot. I can't open it. It's the prettiest blush though, and it's gonna make my lipstick look a little less obnoxious. And it's like the tiniest bit dewy too. I like to put blush on my nose. I don't know why I've been doing that lately, but I've just like really been putting the blush on my nose. Now we're done. I'm going to take off my glasses so you guys can see a little bit better. But that's the whole look. Thank you for watching. And I think that's all I have to say. I don't know how I felt about it being like a chit chatty get ready with me. It really wasn't my bad. Um, but if you want to know the products that I just naturally reach for, now you know. So thank you so much for watching. And tune in for the next one don't forget to like comment and subscribe leave any suggestions and i will see you guys next time bye